Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Bill. In this episode, we are going to start assembling the front brakes. So I'm going to show you what I've mocked up already. Um, as I said, I've gone with the Willwood Super Lights uh, with 14 inch. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. Uh, 14 inch rotors, they're one and a quarter inch thick. They're beasts. Uh, the pads are like 0.8 inch thick. Uh, they actually change right from the top, which I think the Dyna lights that come with the kit that you can upgrade don't do. So that's kind of why I went this uh, Levy Racing with Gordon. Great guy to deal with, by the way. Um, so it's definitely worth the upgrade, but I'm gonna show you, so that one's really not done yet. I'm gonna show you how to do this one over here because you do have to clearance something and I want everyone to be aware of that. So follow along. Thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you get something out of it. And if you like it, please hit subscribe. Okay, so our issue here is this bracket's gotta go on to here. Uh, there's two washers that go behind it. Well, these washers don't even, as you can see, I don't know if you can see through the hole here, but I'll drive this bolt through. You can't even drive it through because it's hitting up into here. Hopefully you can see that. So I have to clearance this probably with a uh, burr to make this thing fit and probably even clearance into here a little bit. I had to do it with the other side, but I'm gonna show you how to do that because this side, no problem. See, but then this side, it doesn't go. It just, it, it hits. And I'm not really sure, I'm gonna have to look here, hold on. Yeah, and you can see it hits. Hopefully you can see inside the hole. See how it doesn't line up? Yeah, so I got a clearance quite a bit actually. Um, yeah, and the washers, as you can see, they don't. Let me see if I can show you that. See, they don't line up either. So we're going to clearance this out a little bit. I'll get a burr into there. Um, clearance that, and then we will grind a little bit off the back of this. And then hopefully we'll get the clearance we need to bolt these things on up. Okay, so follow along. So I've got a burr on the end of this. And I'm just going to slowly work this. Actually, I'm going to get... Let's get some paper on top of that so I don't get fine metal shavings everywhere. But I kind of keep everything from getting sort of messed up. So, and then I'm just going to slowly work this into here. We'll clearance that a little bit and then we'll go grind the back of that bracket and see if we can get the two to line up some not a bunch but uh, you really can't tell uh, just other than the paints all gone but I got to keep clearance a little more I'm almost there so it just takes time this thing doesn't take off a whole bunch of meat to this we should be just about there let's see here almost there what I could do is just grind these washers down a little bit too let's see how the bracket fits in the bracket fits in I'll just grind the walk the washers are gonna be bigger than the bracket oh yeah so there we go so that's the clearance we need so I'm just gonna flat spot these washers with the grinder real quick so I just took a little touch off the washer. Um, instead of fighting this thing, I think it's probably the easiest way to do it. So the washers go, hopefully you can see this, uh, behind the bracket, they gotta space it out. I think they gotta kind of figure out what they need to center the caliper over the rotor. And then these ones will go up into here. Yeah, much really better. because uh, we're gonna put some Loctite. I'm tempted to safety wire these damn things just because these things ever come off. I mean, you're screwed, but uh, put some Loctite on there. Yep, so there you go. So that's our brackets. So now the uh, caliper, after the rotor goes on, the caliper will slide over and then we'll measure the distance. I'll show you on the other one since I've already got it on there. We're gonna measure the distance uh, between here and here, here and here 
gotta be pretty close or the pads won't slide in. Um, I'm a hair off here, and the way to change that is by putting washers uh, in here, move this this way or this way. And I think if I remember right, I could go one of the ways. Um, let me show you the brake pads. These things are beasts. So the nice thing about these brakes, if you wanted to, let's say, put on, uh, if you want to put different brakes on for track days, voila, piece of cake. So, yeah, see, and that fits pretty darn tight on that side, and this side here is a little looser. So you can see, I could actually space this a hair that way. So if I wanted to, I could throw a couple of small shims in there and just kick it a, just a, just a smidge. Um, whether or not I do that, I don't know. Um, I may. As I said, it's not critically important as long as you can get the pads in. That's the, uh, that's the most important part and I can't get the pads in. So that's not a problem. So I said, none of this has been, uh, this is just kind of mocked up, but uh, as you can see, these things are, uh, they're huge. These are gonna look awesome behind some open 18 inch, you know, F14 wheels or, you know, whatever. I mean, these things are just, they're, they're gorgeous, gorgeous calipers. So, so I'm now going to uh, put red Loctite on these things and torque these down, uh, 65 feet pounds. Oh, washer's got to go in. Whoops, forgot about that one. Hopefully you can see that. As I said, I never know where this camera is aiming. And uh, I don't know, they, they had to go, oh crap, all the washers, I just lost them. Oh well, gives me something to do, right? Okay, so two large washers here. Okay, so 65 feet pounds now. So we're starting off about 45, I'll torque them evenly. Okay, and then I will increase the torque. We'll go up. Okay. Sixty-five. Yep. Okay. Okay, so those are torqued to sixty-five feet pounds. And I think, if I remember right, I needed these spacers, uh, which now I'm missing one. Uh, rolled away. Oh, I got the other spacer right there in my hand. So then there's three washers. So basically what this these, this spacer here does, so if you're only running 13 inch rotors, you pull these out and voila, you got 13 inch rotors. So I, I'm guessing maybe you could go to, actually that looks a little better there. Oh, I'm guessing you could probably go to, uh, 
15 inch, but I, I don't know, maybe it's a different bracket at that point. I don't know, but that's getting a little overkill, 19 inch wheels on a car that's this light. I don't see the point, but okay. So then, oh, we gotta put the rotor on here first. Okay, so another thing I'm gonna do is the two bolts here that hold the bracket on, I've actually drilled these heads and I'm gonna safety wire these things uh, just because this, these are the brakes and uh, the nuts that go on here are actually those uh, distorted nuts, so they're never coming off. These are not, and I don't think it's an issue. I don't think anybody's really had any problems with these, but just for peace of mind, I'm just gonna safety wire them. So basically it's just like wire safety wiring the, uh, the rotors together. So this one's gonna come back up and around this way. I tie these two together. And I kind of hit it here first. I don't know if this is correct. I'm no safety wire expert. Uh, you know, if you want someone there, you want to get someone in the... There we go. And then I run this down. So then we're going to run it down this... Uh... Yeah, because that's going to keep this from backing off this way. This one's going to back off this way. So we're going to pull it that way. So this one we're gonna run, after we run this down, we're gonna run it around this way through here and then safety wired back into that way. There we go. So at least now we've got these things safety wired. So at least now you see, now we'll get the uh, rotor back on. Yep. So as you can see, we're now safety wired. So that bolt here cannot twist back off. I'll probably get that wire a little bit tighter, but that should be plenty. So I don't have to worry about these things coming off now. So just a little added feature there the rotor on okay as I said we, we don't have a whole lot of space uh, between here and here as you can see it's tight and I had to put three of those washers or it was gonna rub so now I think to torque these they say put some oil on here no Loctite, I believe. Well, thanks for watching another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. So this episode, we install the uh, big wheel woods. Super lights is what they are. Six piston, uh, 14 inch by one and a quarter wide rotors. Should be plenty. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and we'll see you again on the next episode. Thanks.